Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors, and I'm doing one of my favorite things to do, sharpshoot lake trout. That is the mission. That is the goal of this video, is just to sharpshoot lake trout. I've got the new update for the Mega Live, which I'm going to do a separate video on my thoughts on the Mega Live so far in general and all the updates and how far it's come. But right now I'm going to, I gotta pull out a rod. I don't have a rod out yet. Pull out a rod. I'm gonna start with a, uh, probably a chartreuse tube jig, not gonna lie. Maybe mix it up with a white one a little bit, but tube jig is probably my favorite sharpshooting lake trout bait in general. You can catch the bigger ones. You don't hook up as many as the smaller ones, yet you still do catch the smaller ones as well. So two ounce, six inch tube jig, sharpshooting lake trout, let's go. That one looks bigger. That one looks bigger. That one definitely looks bigger. Come on. Oh yeah, I saw it, I saw it. It's going right to it already. It's gonna eat it when it's falling. That one looks bigger. He bumped it, bumped it, bumped it. Come on. Okay, had some issues with my recording device. So I don't know if that big fish was recorded or not. Didn't catch it, so that's a bonus. Well, it's not a bonus I didn't catch it, but you know what? It is a bonus I didn't catch it. I like to catch the moments on film and stuff like that. To me, that's what it's all about these days. Not sure, so we're gonna drop down. Well, it's coming up to it fast. That's likely not a good sign. Oh, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Eat it. Bump it. I was in reverse still as I was trying to spot lock. Oh, this fish doesn't look that bad. Drop it down again, maybe? It's falling all the way down. On the bottom. Okay, let's try reeling it. Come on, here we go. Come on, come on, eat it, eat it. Ho, 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 you, you. Let's hold it still for a sec. Bump it. I don't think it's that big. Drop it, drop it, reel it, bump it. Falling it down again. He doesn't like that though. He likes the pumping. He didn't like it on the bottom two feet. Oh. Let's clean it a little bit. It's not very big. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, it's two of them right here. <laughs> We hit it and crushed it. <laughs> I was just really not. It feels decent too. Okay, what do we got? It feels decent. It doesn't feel huge, but it's not small. Okay, well, did I have landed a lake trout yet today? I don't think so. This will be the first one I hooked, I think. Yeah, it's definitely not small. Okay, I was just going to reel up to move on. And as I was really not, it crushed it back down awesome there's a couple more marks down there too that's definitely got some weight i feel like i got a decent hook set in them but not crazy i should be good now though i was having trouble with my my live recording so i'm not sure if my other fish today recorded or not but this one uh this one did but oh it's got some weight Wow, okay. I was definitely uh, not thinking it was going to be that big of a fish at first. But it has some weight. It's going to be a, a netter for sure. I don't know if it's a sumo netter, but it's definitely a netter. Where are you, buddy? I can see him on the Mega Live. Now he's 20 feet down. Look at that. Boom! All the way back down. All that uh, you can see on the Mega Live there, all that like... Those bubbles and stuff that's him gassing right now oh 
you see there's other fish down there still there's another big one checking him out he's like what do you got going on there buddy it's like what do you got going on nice oh that's a good start to my day sharp shooting lake trout is so much fun so much fun one of my favorite things to do it's got some weight oh lake trout so important when it's your turn give it to them when it's their turn let them go big bubbles decent fish not a giant but a nice one like a 38 ish maybe something like that i'm gonna net them though bring them in oh might be a 40 incher that's a beautiful fish beautiful fish hooked right in the corner of the mouse mouth so nice because i haven't brought a big laker on board for this video i'm going to net them and bring them up and measure them normally if i was out fishing by myself not filming i would just release this one right here at the boat okay there we go nice fish what do we got Jeez, not even that only a <laughs> 36 and a half just a 36 and a half that's why i don't clip out that one at the boat beautiful fish but uh still looking for bigger today but put up a really good fight lake trout like to bleed I'm not gonna lie that fish was hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth yet it's still bleeding lake trout are bleeders they're not like a pike where they're pretty resilient in terms of they don't bleed much. Lake trout will bleed on you. So it is important to get them back in the water as quick as you can because the water will coagulate their wounds pretty quick. So that fish felt like a 36 incher to start with, but then it like got heavy and fought insane for its size. That's why I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit bigger. Even in the net, I honestly thought it was gonna be 39 to 40 incher. It just had a giant head, big, big frame, well-built fish, but yeah. I'm sitting right now in 55 feet, I can mark my jig all the way down to the bottom. I'm so impressed with this update now with the Mega Live. I will do a video on, uh, my next video will be literally just about the Mega Live and uh, what I've noticed with everything so far in terms of where it came from or how, when it, how it started and where it's at right now. But I'm definitely, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Another spot, spot one, caught a good one. I uh, didn't see much, but that's okay. Sometimes the, the bigger fish won't necessarily hang around with the smaller fish. So I'm okay with not catching many if I can catch the right size. Big mark, big mark, big mark, big mark, big mark, big mark. Oh, oh, oh. So Mark interacting with me. I don't know if it's the big one or not. Oh, head camera. Oh, it's a big fish down there. And I've got a head camera down. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll try to drop it down and at least maybe I'll keep them interested as I change my head camera. Okay, still, oh, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, he's going right to, as it's dropping, right by him. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, come on. Not on the screen right now. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on, buddy. You need off the bottom. Oh. Got him right off the bottom. That's a big one. <laughs> Come on, cut it. Oh, I feel like I have a good hook set on him. Okay, there. Now I got him. He's gonna run back down. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. I had 
<laughs> that camera that died on me and I was able to keep him where I needed to. Unreal. Oh, right on. I <laughs> don't know how big, but it's definitely a bigger mark for sure. Got him to eat it right off of the bottom. Nice fish. Nice fish, not a giant. Just a nice one. Just a nice one. Baby. Oh, I love jigging. Good size lake trout. And he's not that big. He's like a 34-ish, 33-ish maybe. Something like that. So we're gonna put the juice to him here and get him in quick. Probably just unclip him at the boat. Oh, I love it. I love it. Beautiful fish. I really thought it was gonna be a bit bigger from the mark. I did. Wasn't as big as some of those other marks I had, but this is awesome. Okay, buddy, let's get you unhooked right here at the boat too. Let's get you unhooked right at the boat. We don't even need to bring you in. We don't even need to bring you in. Easy. I should to grab this tube jig, pop it out quite easy. Easy, okay. Done. Nice. Well, a couple nice lake trout. That's for sure. I think I'm just going to drop right back down here for a little bit and uh, see if something else swims by as I'm spot locked here. Oh, I'm on narrow. That's why. Okay. Oh, geez. Another fish interacted with me. I'm just going to change my graph back to full again. Another fish. Oh, I dropped him. I dropped him dropped him maybe he'll come back again i now realize why the mark seemed a little bit bigger than it would have before i changed my graph to narrow instead of full so the marks were going to be a little bit wider that makes sense now that makes sense come on it's getting rough out here it's getting rough out here goes my jig all the way down there's the fish Falling it down. Oh yeah, he's falling it down all the way. This is the one I want right here. I like this fish. Come on. Oh, come on. There's a couple decent ones here. Come on. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's one. I don't know if it's a big one or not. Yeah, I think it's a decent one. Yep, yeah, that's a decent one. There was three of them there. It's freaking out. Oh my goodness, it's freaking. <laughs> nice. There's a couple other good ones down there right now too. I don't think it's giant, but it's another nice fish. I think, okay, it's just strong. Clayton definitely didn't catch the biggest mark out of those ones, but that's okay. That's okay. Nice fish, nice fish. Oh, I love when they freak out like that. Look at that right now, that rock there with fish above it. I like it. I like it. Easy. I'll just unclip you right here. Easy. Let me grab a hold of that two jig, buddy. Well, unfortunately, my wind is picked up pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Right now, it doesn't seem windy because I'm kind of tucked behind some shoreline stuff here. I'm not fishing my primary stuff that I want to fish right now but I'm fishing secondary stuff. As you can see on the Mega Live right now, there's a bunch of rocks right here. I'm in 50 feet of water. I'm a huge structure person when it comes to lake trout. I think this time of year, anything that's like say, and it's August, it's the beginning of August, where I am right now, the water temp is 59 degrees. Anywhere between say 45 to 55 feet, that's uh, located close to kind of structure where the fish can push the bait fish up against that structure. Right now my structure is the shoreline, is a shallower water. So I'm basically gonna go along this little area here and uh, try to continue sharp shooting. Like I said, sharp shooting is one of my favorite methods. Trolling is gonna be more productive, but sharp shooting allows me to hone in those areas just a little bit more precise. So let's see what we can make happen. So as we're looking for marks right now, Trying to sharpshoot them, I thought maybe we'll talk a little bit about lake trout. I know I covered a little bit about in terms of the structure, them pushing up bait fish towards the shore. I captured some awesome footage the other day of lake trout actually chasing around schools of bait fish. A lot of times, find the bait fish, find the lake trout. 
That being said, they also change through so much throughout the summer. Water temperatures are always going to be your biggest factor. Anywhere between that, say, 48 to 54 degrees, I find to be like the money time, or sorry, the money, te the money depth temperature for uh, early season. I got a mark right here, so I was just kind of, was uh, my, my thoughts left me for a second. Um, it's going to be your, your money temperature for early season when they're still in the shallows. Will that fish come racing to it? Later in the year, that depth is still important, but your surface temperatures might be 58, 59, 60 degrees. You have to kind of find that depth of where they're sitting for that day. I've been able to kind of figure out the lake trout this year in terms of where they, where they are at that given time, right? Like one day it could literally be, they'll be at 50 feet. The next day they're at 52 feet. The next day 60 feet, right? It changes so often. The biggest thing with lake trout is trying to put a pattern together first. So if you have time, obviously, you know, it's going to be on your side in terms of just going around, looking around a little bit first before you even start fishing. Electronics these days are unbelievable for everything, not just for your finding the fish, but like mapping out an area, anything like that. A Clearwater Lake in Manitoba has a full map of it right now. So you can really hone in on where those lake trout are gonna be. Like I said, in August right now, when the water temps are a little bit warmer, I'm looking for deeper structure that's located close to that shallow stuff on the edges of it where they can push that bait fish up. It changes so often, right? There's a nice, well, that's gotta be a rock. I was gonna say that's a giant mark, but no, that's, that's a rock. When you're moving here, it's always hard to tell for sure until you kind of get right, right amongst it. It did, started like a mark, but then turned into a rock, 100%. There's lake trout all over it though, like all over it. Look at that. See, structure, rocks, lake trout. There's like a pod of like seven or eight tiny ones right now. These ones don't interest me that much. I'm not even going to really stick around right here. I could drop a smaller spoon down there and clobber a bunch of them. There is a load of them. You know, like look at that, I just grabbed on the way up. I find the bigger lake trout for the most part, stay away from the little lake trout. They almost like they get annoyed, right? You know, like when you're an older brother and you get annoyed of your little brother? Just kidding, Colin, I love you. I always loved you. But that's kind of how, how they are, right? It's like they're, they're older, they're grumpier. Bigger fish in general get grumpy. They're, they're, like a, they're like a human being in the sense that when you're young, you have a bunch of friends. And as you get older, your, your friends get closer, but smaller. So you might have two or three big lake trail crew cruising around together because there's the three grumpy old men going to coffee together at the coffee shop, right? Like those guys have, a, they have a bond together, those fish. That's what I find anyway. Smaller ones, usually not near the bigger ones. Not to say you're not gonna catch big fish around the smaller ones, but for the most part, they're loners. You know what the key is to finding big lake trout? Time. It's literally time and experience. And I'm not talking about like one trip out. I'm talking about years and years and years of trying to dissect areas, spots, and figure them out. It is, uh, it's not an easy game at all. Mark's chasing me. Looks decent, maybe? Yeah, maybe not. It's following me all the way down. Oh, likes that. Likes that a lot. Come on. Come on, come back. Come back. Decent fish. A little bit better. There we go, there we go. Oh, I got a bad hook set. Okay. Now I feel confident. I did not get a good hook sit on that fish. He ate it right off of the bottom pretty much. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, yeah. See, that mark, all alone. All alone. All alone. Very cool. Look at that down there right now. He's just bulldogging at 40 feet. Oh, this feels heavy. Okay. It's a good day. It's a good day, electro fishing. It's a good day. Wind's picking up just the way it's gonna be. Wow. I was impressed that fish, I got it to come back because 
it interacted with me a little bit and then took off, but definitely came back once it pounded on the bottom. This one feels good. Like this one feels pretty heavy. Unless it's hooked funny, but it's got a lot of power. This drag's pretty tight too. Okay. Wow. I know it's gonna look so funny on video of me jumping up and like setting the hook, but I just never, I never got a good hook set on them. So I tried to do what I could quick to get a good hook set on them and get leverage on them. If you're, if you're in a bad position and it doesn't work out for you, do whatever you can, oh boy, to try to get into a better position. Nice. Okay, there's my leader. I've got a 20 foot leader on here right now, 25 pound test, connected to 50 pound braid, an FG knot connected. So it goes through the guides really, really easy. And yeah, this fish uh, is strong, it's strong. I think what I might do at some point is drop my trolling motor down and spot lock with it maybe. Not sure. There it is. It's not giant, but it's definitely nice. I'm gonna save my Mega Live here. So I got that clip and I'll record again. Okay. Oof. A silver. It looked like a nice silver lake trout. Should be the biggest of the day, I would think. It's got some strength. So that mark didn't look as big as some of the ones earlier, but I'm back on my my full. Uh, view right now as in like I can see out 45 feet to each side when I had it on the narrow I could only see 25 feet whoa lake trout are so strong this one has me down there right now at 50 feet just bulldogging right below the boat so lake trout when they give up pull reel fast oh and then it's their turn you let them go. Slow pull up, reel down. Slow pull up. Oh boy, yeah. Man, this one's got strength. Oh, it's crazy to think ice fishing season, you bring these in with a, a little rod. And right now you got all this strength and it's still tough to bring them in. There's my leader again like to see him again. I never got a great look at him the first time. Okay, I'm gonna see him right away though. I'm gonna get my net. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Again, I don't know, not a, should be the biggest of the day. I might bring him around to this side here and keep momentum on him and then net him right here. I got him pretty tired out right now. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, biggest of the day. Get in there, buddy. Nice. Okay, I'll get my other camera set up. I have a hook again right in the corner of the mouth, pull it out and uh, show it off. Maybe measure it too. They are fighting so hard today. 35 and a half inch or smaller than the first one, but so strong. Unreal, unreal. Okay, and there she goes. Nothing to it. Sometimes it's easy, you go out, you catch them, sometimes you go out and you struggle. That was pretty awesome. I said when I was fighting that fish that I'm using an FG knot to connect my braid to my mono, or actually this is floral, 25 pound floral carbon leader with a 20 foot lead. There's a, a friend that I really value highly as a, a lake trout fisherman, and he's been using the FG knot and swears by it. And it's such a low profile, profile knot that slides right through your guides. Um, the method I'm using to tie it I found a video on Salt Strong, I think they're called. I'll link the video below on uh, the a really easy method to tie it because it is a little bit more challenging to tie it, but this uh, definitely made life a lot easier, this method that they use. So I'll link it below and I definitely recommend it for sure. I'll be using it for any of my knots for fluoro to braid or mono that's going to go through the guides of my rod. And then you can, you can give yourself a lot longer 
lead to and that way if you have to retie a few times you don't have to retie the knot every time which is really nice look at the school of them down there <laughs> oh insane like i said if i wanted to catch a pile of them right now with a little bit smaller bait you could that's why i like these tube jigs with a single hook on them you don't sting all the smaller ones. You don't hook, get hooked up. You don't have to mess with them, take them off. I can just kind of take off the smaller ones. I'm not even trying right now to set a hook on these fish. I do like catching small lake trout too. Just that really wasn't my goal right now. My goal right now today was to sharpshoot some, a couple quality fish. Drive around more, fish less. That's what I do a lot of times. And I'm hunting bigger fish. Well, that will wrap up this little video. Short one. Weather kind of made me get out of here type of thing, I should say. So, yeah, a little bit about lake trout, where to look for them, etc., etc. Uh, next video will be just a complete um, my thoughts on the Mega Live and how far it's come, where it started, and all that. I've almost had it for a year now. I would have it for a year in December. So, I guess eight months-ish I've had it for. Is it really four months of December already? August, September, October, November? Holy Murphy. Yeah, I've had it. I got it like the beginning of December, I think. So I've had it for eight months and I'll give you my thoughts so far on everything in my next video. But thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside. <laughs>